Hi everyone, this is Lisa Espinosa. I'm so excited to tell you about an upcoming event that I want to invite you to. As many of you have read on my newsletter, on Sunday, December 11th, I will be hosting an Our Lady of Guadalupe gathering in my home. So Our Lady of Guadalupe is an aspect of the Divine Mother. You know, the Divine Mother shows up in many different forms and Our Lady of Guadalupe is one that I'm really connected to. And something that I do every year leading up to the Lady of Guadalupe feast day, which is on December 12th, is a novena. And a novena is a nine day spiritual process, a spiritual, you know, in the Catholic Church, uh, you might have heard of a novena and what they do for nine days is they recite the rosary. So leading up to the Lady of Guadalupe gathering, I do a nine day novena, but it's not I don't recite the rosary. What I do is this 108 names to the Divine Mother chant. And this is something that I learned about several years ago in a book called, uh, it's right here, Rock Your World with the Divine Mother by Sandra Ray. And in it, she describes, I mean, the whole book is about connecting with the Divine Mother. And, and you know, just to say, for me, the Divine Mother is our spiritual mother. She is the one who loves us unconditionally, who is just filled with compassion for us. And just like a real, like a physical mother, she is our cheerleader. She is the one that knows what our divine purpose is and she wants to ensure that we fulfill it. So this year, and I've never done this before, I'm inviting all of you to join me in this novena. Now, of course, this is not mandatory. This is completely optional. You don't have to do it, and you don't have to do it in order to come to the feast celebration on the 11th. But in my prayer and meditation, she really told me, you know, she was really like, let other people know and invite it, invite people to join you with this. So I want to share with you in this video what this nine-day process looks like. And it's a lot simpler than it might sound, but I'm going to explain it. So... During those nine days, what you're going to do is you're going to find a space in your home, create a space, you know, ideally it's the same space that you use every day where you will place an image of the Divine Mother that is symbolic to you, that is meaningful. So for example, it could be a candle, it could be a statue of Mother Mary, it could be, you know, I'm going to use... Um, a big image that I have of Our Lady of Guadalupe. So set that somewhere in your house, somewhere where you will have privacy. And then also put like this beautiful cloth or wrap on the floor in front of the this little altar that you're creating. And you're also going to need to buy some fresh flowers. And you're gonna need enough flowers to last for the nine days. Typically, you know, I buy some flowers on the first day and then I might need to buy some more if I start running out. And you're also gonna need a bowl, just like a sacred bowl for the petals of these flowers. So every day, once a day, you could do it more than once a day, but what you're committing to doing is once a day, you are reciting these 108 names to the Divine Mother. I will, if you wanna join me in this, I will email you, um, you know, a Word document with the 108 names so that you have it with you. And, you know, 108, if you've been reading my blogs, you know, it, it reduces to nine. It's a very sacred number. And there are 108 main energy channels in our body. So part of the, you know, a lot of mantras are chanted 108 times because it's believed that each time, each time you chant, you're clearing one of those energy um those energy channels in your body. So once you have all the materials, what you're gonna do is you're gonna sit in front of this image of the Divine Mother, whatever it is you have, or kneel, whatever is comfortable, and you're going to uh, begin by saying, Om, I bow to her. You'll say, Om, I bow to her. And then you're gonna read one of the names. So for example, the first one is the first name of the 108 names is the mother of the universe. So you would say, Om, I bow to her, the mother of the universe. And then you end it by saying, Swaha. And Swaha means I offer myself. And as you say Swaha, you toss a petal to this image. So it would sound like this, 
Om, I bow to her, the mother of the universe, Swaha. Om, I bow to her who resides in the heart of the master, Swaha. Om, I bow to her who gives birth to the worlds, Swaha. So you would do that until you get to the 108th name. So that was three names. And when you are done, you will have this beautiful display of petals in front of this image of the Divine Mother. And you can leave it there for the nine days. So when you go to the second day, you follow the same process. So what is the purpose of this? You know, for me, doing this nine day process, just like any, any spiritual pilgrimage, it's kind of like a spiritual pil pilgrimage that you're doing in your home, is you are enhancing your connection with the Divine Mother. You're deepening that connection. It's a chance for us to thank her for all of the blessings that are in our lives. And that's really important because it brings in that energy of gratitude. And then of course, you know, you can make this be however you want. You can either set an intention before you begin the whole novena. So maybe there's something specifically that you need help with and you can ask for that. And it's really asking her to help you release whatever blocks you have to giving and receiving love. Whatever blocks you have to following your soul's guidance so that you can do the work that you're meant to be doing. And the other part of this is that you are also asking her, how can I help you? What do you need from me? And the important thing with this nine day process is that you trust and be open that the answers, the healing will come in divine timing. So I want to be honest and share when I do this novena, I often, even though I've done it several times, it always surprises me how much resistance I have at first. You know, I get all like, oh, I got to go buy flowers. Now I got to get the bowl. I just kind of, um, this part comes up that gets overwhelmed with it or just doesn't want to do it or feels lazy about it. And despite all that, I do it. And it is always such a purification process for me. And, and when I say purification, I don't mean that we are sinful and we're being purified. I mean that we are truly releasing what I said before, those blocks to giving and receiving love. And it's a very humbling experience. And, and mostly I feel that every time I do this, I am better able to embody her energy of unconditional love and compassion for myself, for my family, and for my clients. And and students and, and of course this doesn't mean that I don't get upset and all of those things I do but I feel like through this nine day process she helps me to become a bigger container a sacred container for for all the people that I am called to help so I am sharing this with you and just invite you to check in with your soul and see if perhaps this is something that you are meant to do as well and of course you can do it whenever you want but I am beginning my nine day novena this Friday December 2nd and if you want to join me all that would require is that you're doing it along with me we're not actually physically together but you are committing to doing your own nine day process these nine days so it would be December 2nd till December 10th and you can read more details on my newsletter but I hope this helps and whatever you decide to do, my wish for you is that you have a wonderful end of the year and that you are opened even more deeply that you use this last month to reflect back on this year and the last nine years and integrate all of the wisdom that you have gained through your life, through trainings, but really mostly through your experiences that you release whatever doesn't serve you so that when 2017 begins, you are ready and open to love more deeply than you have in the past and to be loved as well. All right, many blessings and love to you. Namaste.